Uh, good morning. My name is Tommy Stringer. I'm the Vice President for Institutional Advancement and also the Director of the Navarra College Foundation. Uh, the Pierce Museum is a, is a crown jewel of our campus located in, in Corsicana. Uh, we are the very fortunate beneficiaries of the generosity of Chuck and Peggy Pierce. Uh, Mr. Pierce donated these, this collection to us uh, really over a period of time. Uh, offered it to us. He lived for a while in Santa Fe, got acquainted with some of these artists, and then uh, uh, made available his collection to us. We had to add this wing on to house the collection. And Mr. Pierce continued to add to it right up until the time of his death, which was about two years ago. We're very pleased to have a, an artist uh, like Sharon uh, on exhibit here. Uh, the, the collection uh, draws a, a number of uh, visitors literally from all over the world. We've had international visitors here at our campus uh, specifically coming to uh, view the, the collection. Sharon, the, uh, the title of your exhibit is Traditions Are Alive. Give us some background on, on why you selected that title. Well, many of my travels, um, let me say first, I, I travel, uh, shoot my own photos, and document all that I see and do. And the places that I go, the people that I meet, this is what I see. Um, the traditions are still alive. Um, and I wanted to bring this to light of the public. Um, some of these, these are, they are not forgotten. Um, yes, they are diminishing and, you know, not as strong as they once have been. But um, to look at my exhibit, this is what I see. The children are very special to me. I love working with the children. Um, I have a deep respect for the, the, the parents who do the fine balance of the modern world with the, uh, keeping their traditions alive. Sharon. Walk us through the process from, from beginning to end, from the time you, you, I guess, conceive an idea in your mind until it actually uh, comes out as a finished product. Okay, well, when I am out on my photo shoots, I am just focused on getting as many photos as I can because these are all children and they are usually just perpetual motion. Sure. Um, so then I take these, my photos, all back to the studio. I put them all up around me and start picking out elements from different photos to uh, come up with one composition. Um, and then I will take this idea and it will be sketched um, in pencil or charcoal directly onto my canvas. And then the fun starts. Start adding a little bit of color. Um, so then I, I go over my painting three times. The first layer will be all done lightly, making sure that I have the correct composition in there and I'm gonna I have a good feel for it um, and then the second layer I go in and I start adding all of my dark colors and, and values and then I, I will probably look at it well a couple days while I'm working on the next piece and then pull this back out again and then add all my highlights make sure all my dark values are there to, to bring out the depth in the painting and then they're usually, then my kids are usually ready for the public to meet. So you mentioned other pieces. So you have multiple works going on simultaneously? Yes, sir. With working in oil, sometimes it takes a little bit for them to dry in between my uh, 
uh, coats that I put on. So while one's drying up a little bit, um, I actually start on another one. So I'll, sometimes I'll have two or three that I'm working on at one time. I see. When you, when you start a, 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 a picture, uh, do you have an idea first about what you want or as you make your travels, something just appears uh, and kind of drops out of the sky and said, I've got to do this? <laughs> uh, uh, that does happen. A lot of times I will, um, after a good night's sleep, I'll wake up and I know exactly what it is I have to do. Really? Um, it just comes to me. Sometimes I'll come home from a trip and I just have this idea already in my head and cannot wait to get my canvas out and, uh -huh. and start on it immediately. <laughs> so do you, do you sometimes go with an idea in mind looking for a particular subject? or? No, no? I let it really happen. Um, I, When I go on my trips, I always tell my husband I'm not sure how long I'm going to be gone. And when I get cell phone reception up there, I will call. And um, so I take off on my journeys to go up and meet with specific families. A lot of the children I paint each year as they're growing up. And I'm up there and it is miracle and magic. Doors and windows just start opening and it, they're always phenomenal, fun trips. Up there, you do New Mexico, Arizona, where, where, um, else? where, where all do you go? Um, Mostly in the southwest. Uh, I spend a lot of time in um, Diné Bequeja, which is Navajo land, mm -hmm. and that encompasses um, the Four Corners area, so Arizona, uh, Colorado, New Mexico, and Utah. Sharon, thanks again for coming to Corsicana and sharing your talents and your art with us. And thank you.